FirstStepReading.com. Hi, this is Heather from FirstStepReading.com. We're going to do some learning together. Are you ready? Let's get started. We're going to start with our calendar. This is a calendar. A calendar has a month and the date. So let's go over our months of the year. Do you know how many months there are in one year? There are 12. Let's sing a song about the months together. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Great job. Today, we're going to talk about the month of November. November falls in the season of fall or autumn. There are four seasons in the year. There's spring, our rainy season, summer, our hottest season, fall, where the leaves change colors and they fall off the trees, and winter, our coldest season, and then it starts over again. Let's sing our song about the seasons. Spring, summer, fall, winter, sing them now with me. Spring, summer, fall, winter, which could it be? So, since I'm talking about November, that is in the season of fall. I'm going to go over my calendar, and on my calendar, the date is the number after nine. What number comes after nine? Let me count to figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten comes after nine. Ten is a one and a zero. My, cal my calendar has an A, B pattern. Black, red. See? It goes black, red, and then it repeats. Black, red, black, red, black, red, black. So my 10 needs to be red. That's called an A-B pattern because two different things repeat over and over again. This is the root of my pattern, right? The black and the red, and that's what's going to repeat. Black, red, and then black, red, black, red, black, red black, red. So my 10 on my calendar is red because my calendar has an A, B pattern. That's the name of that pattern. Okay. My letter for today is A and an A says A, A, A like apple. And my letter family for today, my word family is at. Now we're going to go over our days of the week by singing our seven days of the week song. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So there's seven days in a week. And if today is Tuesday, that means yesterday was Monday and tomorrow was Wednesday. Okay, those are our days of the week. I said the season in November that we're talking about is fall. And now I need to figure out my weather. Can you tell me the weather, the weather, the weather? Can you tell me the weather, the weather today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy? Is it snowy? Can you tell me the weather, the weather today? So I look out my window. Oh my goodness, it's November and where I live, it is actually snowy today. It is snowy and if I step outside, it would be cold. I would need my winter gear, my winter hat, my winter mittens, my winter pants, 
my winter shoes, right? My boots. I need to be bundled up because where I live, even though it's fall, it is actually snowy today and cold. But what's the weather like where you live? Maybe it's a cloudy day. Maybe it's a windy day. Maybe it's a sunny day. Or maybe it's a rainy day. And what's the temperature like? Is it a cold winter day like me? Or is it not quite winter, but it's still pretty cold, then it'd be a cool day? Is it a hot summer day where you could go swimming? Or is it not quite summer weather, but it's pretty hot, a warm day? Those are your temperatures. Those you have to feel by going outside with an adult. Here's some worksheets you can do. All of our worksheets are free at firststepreading.com. You can print them. So we have weather graphing. You can graph the weather with the temperature and see in November what kind of day you mostly had. The temperature and the weather. You can do your days of the week where you figure out what day it is today, what day it was yesterday, and what day it will be tomorrow. And you can do your month and your date. So you can print those out and do calendar at home. Okay? All these worksheets, all the worksheets I show you are free at firststepreading.com. So that is our calendar for this morning. Now we're going to move on to math. So for math today, we're talking about number bonds. What numbers are bonded together? So we have these boards for you. And we have worksheets. So we're just starting today with the numbers 2 and 3. So I have two counters. And my worksheet said, put one counter here. How many counters should I put in this circle for number two? It's going to show me all the ways to get number two. So I have one and what? What's left? One and one, right? One and one is two. That's how I do my number bond worksheet. One plus one is two. Okay, now we'll show you number three. Okay, so I now I have three counters. I'll show you this one. My first question says, what is missing if I put one here? What do I need to make three? So I have one here, and then I put my other counters on my other side. One, two, right? One and one and one, two makes my three. Then it says if I put two here of my three counters, what is left for here? One. Okay, so use counters. And do your number bonds. Okay, please use counters. You see how I have my counters? I start with my two counters down here and I follow my worksheet. It tells me how many to put in the first one. And then whatever's left, I put in the second one. And then I see, count how many I put here, okay? And that's how you do your number bonds. Do it with your counters, and the board. Okay, so we're doing two and three. We also have these circles. It says color, part of the circle's in one color, and the other part in another color. So if I color one circle, part of the circle's in one color, black, and the other one's white, how many? So I have one black and one white. So one plus one equals two just so I can see it. So I have that for number two, and I have that for number three. 
I color part in one color and part in another. So I color one black and I have two white. So if I have one black plus two white, I will have three. One plus two equals three. Okay, this shows me that. So those are my number bonds that you can work on today. Please use counters on your board to help you with the worksheet. Also, let's count by twos. We don't want to forget our twos, so let's do that now. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Let's do it one more time. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Great job. And you could do your numbers, your counting by twos worksheet as well. So we're doing number bonds two and three and our counting by twos worksheet for math. Now we're going to move on to science. For science, we're talking about habitat. So let's read a story about habitats. What are animal habitats? A habitat is the environment where the animal lives, their home. What kind of environment? Where do fish live? They live in a water environment, right? So what is their habitat? What environment do they live in? Some animal habitats are wetlands, Arctic, rainforest, desert, ocean, and grasslands. So those are the habitats we're going to learn about. Each habitat has unique features that make it perfect for the animals that call it home to live there. So fish need water, right? That's a perfect habitat for them. And we're going to learn about all different habitats and how they're perfect for the animals that live there. Animals have special homes just like us. So that's our story. You can print that and read that with an adult about habitats. And we're gonna learn about the Arctic, ocean, grasslands, wetlands, desert, and rainforest. So let's start with, today we're learning about the Arctic. What is the Arctic habitat? The Arctic habitat is the area near the North Pole and it's made of ice and ocean. The land is ice and it's surrounded by ocean. The Arctic is extremely cold, so not, not very many plants or animals can live there, right? It is so cold, it's, the ground is ice in the North Pole, right? But some animals that live in the Arctic are reindeer, polar bears, Arctic fox, narwhal, walrus, whales, and seals. Animals in the Arctic have to have fur and or blubber to keep them warm because the Arctic habitat is freezing. How do you keep warm on cold days? So the Arctic habitat is always freezing. So the animals that live there need to have special bodies that can keep them warm. Because when we're cold, we put on jackets and hats and mittens and boots, but animals don't wear clothes. So they have to have special bodies that are made for cold weather in order to live in the Arctic. So the first thing you can do is cut out your Arctic animals and glue them in their environment. Then you also can do some experiments. Put your finger in your Arctic. Oh. Brrr. Now put your finger in your glove and then this is Crisco. It's, uh, 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 no, wait, wait. Put it in the glove that has the fat. First the regular glove, your finger. Then the glove with the fat in it. Because, oh, your finger in here. Use, use your other hand to help you. Okay. Is it in there good? Okay. Now try putting your finger in the ice cold water. Does it feel any different? It 
feels good. It doesn't feel cold. Because the fat from the Crisco, it's fat, it kept your finger warm. And that is what whales have. They have fat near the surface of their skin and polar bears and other Arctic animals that keep them warm even in freezing cold water. But if you put your hand in that doesn't have the blubber, the rest of your hand is what? Cool. He's <laughs> making an Arctic habitat. She cut the animals off the Arctic worksheet and she taped them on the outside so that when you look through the habitat you can see the different animals inside. So what did you put for your Arctic habitat? What did you need? We needed water. And what else? Ice and the The animals, right? We're going to start with singing the alphabet. The alphabet is the names of the letters. Let's sing it together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time won't you sing with me? And now we're going to sing our letter sound song. These are the sounds that the letters make. The letters have sounds, have sounds, have sounds. The letters have sounds, have sounds, have sounds. The letters have sounds, have sounds, have sounds. Sing them now with me. The A says ah, 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 ah. The B says ba, 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 ba. The C says k, 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 like apple, bat, and cookie. The D says da, 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 da. The E says eh, 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 eh. The F says like dog, elephant, and fish. The G says g, g. Go, go, go. The H says, <gasps> the I says, I, 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 like girl, horse, or iguana. The J says, J, 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 J. The K says, K, 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 K. The L says, Ooh, like juice. Kite and lion. The M says, mm, 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 mm. The N says, mm, 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 mm. The O says, ah, 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 ah. Like monkey, knight, or octopus. The P says, p, 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 p. The Q says, qua, 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 qua. The R says, rrr, 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 like penguin, queen, or rose. The S says, the T says, t, 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 t. the U says, uh, 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 like snowman, turtle, or umbrella. The V says, Voo. The W says wa 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 wa. The X says like violin, whale, and X-ray. The Y says ya 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 ya. The Z says like yogurt and zebra. The letters have sounds, have sounds, have sounds. The letters have sounds, have sounds, have sounds. The letters have sounds, have sounds, have sounds. Thanks for singing with me. Our sight word for today is I.
So we've learned a and an act has not I is said the and to. Sight words are the words you need to memorize. So you need to make flashcards and practice these words. You should see these words when you're reading and you should just know them. You shouldn't have to stop and sound them out because these are special words that are going to be in books all the time. And if you know these words by heart, you could read faster and you'll understand what you're reading better. We don't memorize every word, but we memorize our sight words. So that's our word for today is I. And uh, if you want, your parent wants to do a spelling test, we have a spelling test you can print that has the word I and then has um, at words, hat, rat, sat, and that. So at words you can sound out. Those are our phonics words. At, r, at, at, and th, th. That's a hard one, th sound, th, at, that. So those are our sight word things you can do today for this week. And now I'm going to show you our phonics. So our sentence for this week is here. I'm going to take a color and I'm going to underline my sight words. Remember our new sight word is I. And said is a sight word to. And that is actually a sight word and it's a phonics word. And is and a. And then I'm going to circle my phonics words. I'm also going to circle that because we can sound that out. Hat and rat. Okay. Now I'm ready to read my sentence. I said to m at mat. again for understanding. I said to Matt that Pat is a rat. My sentence starts with a capital letter. It has finger spaces between each word and it ends in a period, right? Ends in, a, in either a period, a question, an exclamation mark, right? And it starts with a capital letter. So you can practice reading your phonics at sentence and first you underline your sight words, circle your phonics words, sound out your phonics words, use your sounds, and you should know your sight words, right? Those are the ones you know by heart. So that's our phonics and sight word sentence for today. So some other things you can do. Um, we have our beginning letters worksheet with the pictures. B, B, bat. So I would color in the B. Hat, k, k, cat, rat, and t, t, sat. So I look at the picture and I try to find what the word would start with, what sound. And I have my reading comprehension for book one. So you're going to read. Story one in book one, if you have our books, we're in story one, it's with the at words and the phonics words that you know. You read story one and you can answer question one. Matt and Pat are, based on the story, what are those characters? That's your comprehension question to see if you understood your story. The story is phonics and sight words. so. You could read that with an adult. Book one, you can watch your three letter blending video on at words. And you can do your short vowel at worksheet where you build the words, you read the words and draw the pictures and you read the sentences on the bottom. Okay, this is our phonics work for this week. And our sentence. We learned about habitat, so you can practice writing a sentence. We have the I that is already capital. We have I learned. And I sound out my sounds. Animals. I learn animals. So I already 
they have my capital letter, I put finger spaces between each word and I end with a period and I sound out my sounds. I stretch all the sounds out with my, my voice and I try to hear all the sounds in the words and I write all the sounds I hear and I put a finger space between each word and I end with a period. That's how you sound out your words. You try the best you can. Not everything doesn't have to be spelled perfectly. Use your sounds. That's how you're going to become a better speller is to practice hearing all the sounds in words. Okay? If that's hard for you, you can have an adult write what you want to say in yellow and you can trace it. But I recommend you practicing hearing the sounds in words and trying to write your own sentence. So that's our writing. So that's our learning for this week. We hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe. Hit subscribe below and you'll see all our latest videos. Have a great day. Bye. Firststepreading.com